What's up guys, Drew with Profit Monsters, and for those of you who don't know, I am a full-time reseller, baby. I sell on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, Depop, Facebook Marketplace, and I always am trying to find new ways of making money and helping you guys and teaching you as I go along my reselling journey. And today I'm at the Goodwill Outlet, but not just the regular Goodwill Outlet in Orlando. I am in St. Petersburg, Florida, and I'm meeting up with a buddy of mine, uh, Ski Throwback Gear on Instagram. I'll throw his tag down here or when we meet up with him inside the bins. I'm doing a little bit of a bulk buyout from him for some mids. Uh, from some stuff that he got from a buyout and now I'm meeting him up at the bins We're gonna thrift together and then I'm gonna buy him out. So let's go see what we can find Yo, look at the size of this place. You've entered the parking lot for your destination. Thank you, Siri A Goodwill retail, a donation center, an outlet, a business center, a connection center. Let's go! Okay, so there is a Goodwill retail store right there and then a Goodwill outlet and there's like a donation center, a connection center, a business center. It's all in the same plaza, which is really cool. So I've never been to this bins. Hopefully they'll let me record something and I'll try to get some footage. So I just met up with Ski. What's up, man? Showing me the ropes of this new bins. I'm gonna check out some shoes real quick, see what we can find over here. I already found a pair of Pumas, but we're just chatting it up. I'm gonna see what I can find, and then I'll show you guys the cart in a couple minutes. All right, so far this is what I'm working with. Ski found me a Guitar Hero guitar. Got some shoes, I gotta check them out, go through and make sure there's no damage. Got this old Disney store, new with tags, Bugs Life. Uh, pretty sure it's a little dirty, but I think I can clean it off and then in the clothing I found some Levi 501s. They're big size, but I think I can still sell them because they're a nice color And a little vintage Hawaii sweatshirt No tag Other than that not much so far Got a whole bag of golf clubs here, but they're upside down Yeah, so much work Plus, more golf clubs, Hogan, nothing worked to there. Master mechanic toolbox, nothing in it, nothing. Here's a quick little slow-mo of the back of this store at the bins. There is so much stuff, it's unbelievable, guys. And then here is a quick little panoramic shot of all the clothing bins. This was a completely separate section from the actual hard goods. There's like two different rooms and uh, it was just really hard to dig with one hand right here. So you're not gonna see much of me digging, uh, but yeah, I found a couple of things, which all was right, pretty we nice. we just start walking out of the bins, taking a break because everybody's checking out. They close early. We're gonna walk over to the retail side, see if we can find anything on the racks. Ski's got a pretty good eye, so hopefully we can find something, right? We're trying, man, we're trying. He didn't pull anything at the bins yet, so, not but he's real picky, he's real picky. Just a book bag, so. just a book bag. Yeah, well, like a $150 backpack, hey, so. Hey, pays to be good, man. That's right. All right, let's see what we can find. All right, guys, these shoes right here that I'm walking up to were very misleading. They were all new with tags, and I thought this was a pair of Brooks, but it actually wasn't. These are all like Chinese knockoff makes of shoes, and they were still asking like $19 to $20 a pair. So it was just crazy. And uh, here you can see a second set of these shoes. They are just ridiculous. Some look like Sauconies and running shoes and stuff. All 
Under Armour USA's. No price. Okay. Let's check this rack over here. See if there's anything on it. Columbia. A New Balance Windbreaker. It's kind of cool. Let's see what they got on that. Twelve ninety-eight. I'll pass. Old Navy. Leather. 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 Coat. No. Hollister Puffer. Tommy Jeans. Something that just fell off this rack. Five X. Learcy. Exertion. Nothing. 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 Coming down the electronics aisle, guys, there was some loud music, so I had to stop and record this for you, but there was everything was really expensive except for that one box that you're going to see right there with the DVD player that's new in box. I ended up picking that up, but everything else was quite overpriced. Each unit was like between $19 to $49, as you'll see on some of the prices, but right there, that Samsung on the left in that blue box is what I ended up picking up. But everything was just really expensive and uh, yeah, $19.98 for that right there and just a lot of overpriced items for things. But that DVD player is what I ended up picking up. Found a couple pairs of shoes. So we found nothing but some airheads. And uh, red tag is half off so these shoes are pretty cheap. And I got one other pair too that I already paid for. Alright, I got my cart. I went through it. I got my stuff. I got a little stack of clothing. Nothing crazy. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten pairs of shoes and some Disney Store new with tag plushes over here. There's a whole stack of them down there, so pretty cool. These are some Air Maxes right here, some uh, Ultras, Puma Suede's, Asics, Mizuno, Nike, Nike, Vans, and Red Wing Irish Setters, so not bad at all. I'm going to go check out and see how much this all costs. Just left the bins, cashed out, spent 45 bucks, so not too bad. And now I'm getting some stuff right from here. Ski. Right here. Look at this, this is Quite full. Simple. I don't even know how I'm gonna get all this stuff in my car with stuff I just bought from the bins. I don't know how we're gonna do it, but we're gonna do it. And then we'll figure out the price and everything that's in there. I'll show you guys that in part two, the haul. All right, so here's some of the stuff we're working with. I got shoes and ties. He threw in a Guitar Hero guitar that he had, which is cool. Bin of clothing, all sorts of stuff. I know that the uh, Grateful Deads are at the bottom, right? <laughs> yeah, something like that. There's some more shoes in here. And then back here, I don't even know what's going on. I don't know what, why am I buying all this stuff from you, man? It's Q4, that's why. It's Q4, baby. Disney cups. Yes, sir. Check these out. Vintage Disney cups. Fantasmic popcorn holder. We got some uh, Disney's Pop Century 1998 All Sports or All Star Resort. Pretty sweet. It is really hot. All right. That's it for you guys. Okay, guys. It's the next day, and I am currently going through all the inventory, doing some listings, getting some work done, baby. All in all, I spent $275 on the bulk buy with Ski, and uh, then I spent some money at the bins and at the retail store. But the amount of items that I got from Ski should average out anywhere between $1 to $2 a unit, which is really good. I've actually already sold two things I've listed for like over $50 between the two of them for clothing items. So anyway, I got a lot of work to do. I'm really excited about this buy. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace, money!